Find the number of sides of a regular polygon whose each exterior angle has a measure of 45 degrees. Now, we know that the sum of the exterior angles of any polygon is equal to 360 degrees. We have discussed all these things. If you haven't watched those video tutorials, then you can find uh, the links to those tutorials in the description box below. Please watch them. We have discussed all those things in very detailed way. So the sum of the exterior angles of any polygon is equal to 360 degrees. Now, let's assume that the regular polygon has n sides. Let's assume this. Now, if the regular polygon has n sides, it means that it will have n vertex, it will have n, n vertices, it means that it will have n exterior angles, right? It will have n exterior angles. So if you assume that it's uh, the regular polygon has n sides, then it will have n exterior angles and the measure of each exterior angle is how much? 45 degrees. Therefore, we can say that if each exterior angle has a measure of 45 degrees, then n exterior angles will have the measure of n times 45 degrees and this will have to be equal to 360 degrees because the sum of the exterior angles of a polygon is equal to 360 degrees. From here, if you solve it, you get n is equal to 360 degrees divided by 45 degrees. Now, if you solve it, you get n is equal to 8. Right? You get n as 8. Now, in this figure and in this figure, you have to tell the value of x. So, 125 degree is an exterior angle, 125 degree is another exterior angle and x degree is an another exterior angle and it's actually what it's a triangle. So let this be A, this be B and this vertex be C. Now again, for any polygon, the sum of the exterior angles has to be equal to 360 degrees. It means x plus 125 degrees plus 125 degrees has to be equal to 360 degrees. From here, if you solve, you get x is equal to 360 degrees minus 250 degrees and you get x is equal to 110 degrees. From this one, here you, ha you have x 70. This shows that the exterior angle is at 90 degrees. In this case, you have 60 degrees. Here, you don't have the exterior angle given to you, but you can calculate because this is what this is. This shows that this interior angle is 90 degrees. Therefore, this plus this is actually what? 180 degrees. This angle plus this angle. Why? Because this forms a linear, these two angles form a linear pair. Therefore, this is also 90 degrees. Right? So, what kind of polygon it is? It has one, two, three, four, and five sides. It means that it's a pentagon. Doesn't matter whether it is a triangle, it is a quadrilateral, it is a pentagon, it's a hexagon, it's a heptagon or octagon or any polygon, the sum of the exterior angles has to be 360 degrees. So x plus 70 degrees plus 90 degrees plus 60 degrees and plus this shows that again 90 degrees has to be equal to 360 degrees. This gives you x plus 70 plus 90 is 160 plus 60 is 220 degrees and plus 90 degree is 310 degrees and if you solve it you get x is equal to 360 degrees minus 
310 degrees and this gives you x is equal to 50 degrees. Find the measure of each exterior angle of a regular polygon of n sides. Now this problem is exactly similar to what we have discussed here. It is a regular polygon. A regular polygon means that it, the interior angles are equal and the sides are equal. Since interior angles are equal to each other, therefore exterior angles will also be equal to each other, right? So if it has n sides, it means that it will have, sorry, it has nine sides, it means it will have nine exterior angles. So if there are n side, nine sides, and therefore they will have, there will be nine exterior angles, and if we assume that the measure of each exterior angle is x, so 9 times x has to be equal to 360 degrees because the sum of the exterior angles of any polygon is equal to 360 degrees. From here, if you solve, you get x is equal to 40 degrees. If it is 15 sides, it means that there will be 15 exterior angles and therefore sum of all the exterior angles has to be equal to 360 degrees. So if we assume that let each exterior angle is y, then this has to be equal to 15 times y is equal to 360 degrees. If we solve it, you get y is equal to 360 degrees divided by 15, right? So this gives you y is equal to 24, y is equal to 24, sorry, 24. Now, how many sides does a regular polygon have if each of its interior angle is 165 degrees okay so here we don't know how many sides a regular polygon have the uh, only information that is given to us is that each interior angle is of 165 degrees so if each interior angle is of 165 degrees so tell me it's a regular polygon each interior angle is 165 degrees so since it is a regular polygon, therefore each exterior angle, every exterior angle will be equal to each other, right? So if one interior angle is 165 degree, therefore the measure of exterior angle will be, the measure of an exterior angle will be 180 degrees minus 165 degrees. Why? Because it forms a linear pair. If, I, if you want to see here, like you can see here, we have discussed here, this was what exterior angle. And we know that if you know the interior angle, like here we, uh, we had the information of this angle. So from this angle, we calculated this one. Why? Because if this is 90, so this one will be 180 degree minus 90 degrees. So same thing is applicable here. From here, your exterior angle comes as 15 degrees. So your exterior angle is 15 degrees. Now let's assume that it has n sides. The polygon has n sides, right? So if it, if it has n sides, it will have n exterior angles as well, right? So the sum of the external angles of a polygon is equal to 360 degrees. And therefore, this is equal n times 15 degrees will be equal to 360 degrees, right? From here, if you solve it, you get n is equal to 360 degrees divided by 15 degrees. That is n is equal to 24. So the polygon has 24 sides. Is it possible to have a regular polygon 
with measure of each exterior angle as 22 degrees. So it's saying that can you form a regular polygon? Can we form a regular polygon whose each exterior angle is 22 degrees? So if we assume that, let's assume that yes, it is possible. Let's assume yes, it is possible. Okay, if it is possible, then the next thing you have to assume is let there are total number of there is total number of n sides. There is total number of n sides. So from this n sides and from this each exterior angle that is 22 degrees, let this be n times 22 is equal to 360 degrees. We have assumed this, it is possible and let there is the number of sides of this regular polygon is n. So n times 22 will be 360 degrees because if the sum of each exterior angle is 22, therefore the sum of the exterior angles has to be equal to 360 degrees. Now from here, you can calculate n as 360 degrees divided by 22, right? Now if you divide 360 degrees by 22, that is 22 degrees. So 22 times 1 is 22, you get 14 here and then this is 0. Now if you take 5 times, 5 times you get 5 to 10 and or 6 times let's take it 6 times so this is 6 times and you get 6 times 12 and 132 now you can see here actually you are getting 8 as the remainder now if our assumption if our assumption was true if our assumption was true then this 22 would this 360 degree has to be completely divided by this 22 degrees because you cannot have 16 point something number of sides of a polygon you have to the number of sides has to be exactly a natural number it has to be a whole number right so it can the number of sides of a polygon cannot be in decimals like it has 16 point some sides no if it is not completely divisible by this angle it means that no our assumption is wrong therefore no such thing is not possible now the b part of the same question says that can it be an interior angle of a regular polygon and why so if it, what it's saying that if not exterior angle, then is it possible that this 22 degrees is actually uh, the interior angle of this regular polygon? So if we assume that, let this be true, and if interior angle is, if interior angle is 22 degrees, then therefore exterior angle will be exterior angle will be 180 degrees minus 22 degrees right from here if you solve it you get 168 no, 158 degrees so each exterior angle has to be 158 degrees now if you have assumed that let like, the number of sides of this polygon is n then n times 158 degrees has to be equal to 360 degrees because the sum of the uh, the sum of the measures of the exterior angle is equal to 360 degrees. From here, you get n is equal to 360 degrees divided by 158 degrees. Now, when you solve this again, you are going to get some this division. You'll get some remainder, and your quotient will be in decimals. Again, it has to be completely divisible. If it is not completely divisible, then it means our assumption is wrong. So since our assumption is wrong, therefore again, it is not possible. You cannot have 22 degrees as an exterior angle and you cannot have uh, 22 degrees as its interior uh, angle either. Okay. What is the minimum interior angle possible for a regular polygon and why? What is the maximum exterior angle possible for a regular polygon? Why? What is the minimum interior angle possible for a regular polygon? The most basic form of a polygon is what? 
triangle is what triangle and tell me which type of triangle is actually a regular polygon because we know that we have three types of triangles the the basic three types are scaling isosceles isosceles and then equilateral now tell me out of these three types which is the which type is the regular is a regular polygon you will say equilateral because in this all the three sides are equal and one thing is for sure that the interior angles are actually equal to 60 degrees each interior angle is all the interior angles are equal and each the measure of each interior angle is equal to 60 degrees so the minimum interior angle possible for a regular polygon is 60 degrees why because the most basic type of regular polygon is the equilateral triangle now the next a regular polygon will be a square because in that case you'll have four sides right you'll have a four sides and all the sides are equal right and then all the interior angles are equal and each in interior angle is equal to 90 degrees next one will be a regular pentagon right a regular pentagon and in case of a regular pentagon in case of a regular pentagon all the sides are equal and each interior angle is equal to 108 degrees the next comes the next type of regular polygon is a regular hexagon all the sides are equal all the interior angles are equal and each interior angle is equal to 120 degrees so you can see that the most basic form the next the next and the next in each case your interior angle is actually increasing 60 90 108 120 after that regular heptagon octagon and so on right so the minimum interior angle possible is 60 degrees so now tell me if this is the minimum interior angle possible don't you think that this will be the maximum exterior angle possible for any polygon right because if this is 60 the minimum x this exterior will be maximum because 180 degree minus interior angle 180 degree minus interior angle tells you the value of exterior of uh, exterior angle of a polygon so if first it is 180 degrees minus 60 degree and then when you take the square it becomes 180 degrees minus 90 then if you take pentagon it becomes 180 degree minus 108 degree so clearly in this case you get 120 degrees in this case you get 90 degrees in this case you get 72 degrees and so on and so forth but the thing is your value is actually decreasing 120 in the case of an equilateral triangle 90 degree in the case of a square 72 degree in the case of the pen regular pentagon your value is decreasing it means the maximum exterior angle possible for a regular polygon is this one 120 degrees and that is of a ordered of a equilateral triangle 